Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate this Joyner Lucas promotional photo or album cover where he's got his hands covering his face and it's kind of all blended together. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your photos. It would probably help if you did it a little bit more precisely than I did, but basically you're going to want to have someone take a photo of you or take a photo of your subject or at least put your camera on a tripod and a timer and stand in the same exact position. This is the important part. You want to try to get the framing as close as possible and take two pictures as close as possible with the only difference being one of them has the hands in front of the face and one of them has the hands down. So with these two pictures as close as you can, uh, I didn't do it perfectly, but we're still going to make it work for the tutorial. Then you can import them into Photoshop and we, we can begin creating our manipulation. The first thing I'm going to actually do is just cut out the photo. So I'm going to cut out each photo. In this case, I can just use the quick selection tool since the background is pretty much all white. And I'm just going to clean up that selection a little bit. You can do your selection by hand as well if you want. Uh, I'm going to select inverse in this case because it was selecting me. And I'm going to layer via copy. So now I have myself on a transparent background and I'm going to do the same thing with the other photo. I'm going to right click and layer via copy again and then you could delete the other ones but I'm going to keep them because we might need to go back for reference or working with them. So in my case you can see I didn't stand perfectly in the same position or angle. So I'll just use the move tool and kind of place things back where they should be. And with the opacity sliders on the right hand side, I can actually lower the opacity a bit just to kind of see in between what's going on, just to make sure things are lining up nicely. Now I've got my cutout with the hands over the layer of the regular face. And the first thing I'm, I can do is set this on a blending mode of multiply and you see this will immediately create some lines and textures but I need to go about masking things in the proper way so that just like the Joyner Lucas photo things kind of cut off at the neck and jawline is intact and the hands but the hands do go over the beanie but the eyes and the mouth are kind of going through so first things first let's let's bring some of those fingers back I'm going to actually duplicate this layer with the hands and I'm going to set it back to normal, but this one we're going to mask. So there's actually many different ways that you can do this, either by erasing some stuff from the underneath layer, but I'm going to do it more in a, in a, a stacking and building on top way, if that makes more sense for you. I'm going to lower the opacity of this duplicated layer that's on normal blending mode to just to like something that I can work with, like 30%, just so I can see what's going on. And I'm going to go to layer layer mask reveal all this is just going to create a new layer mask on our image and it's going to allow me to start painting in erasing sections or masking sections out so i'm going to grab my brush tool make sure i have black set as the foreground color and increase my brush size to a soft round brush that's large enough for whatever size that we're working with so here I'm going to paint black, which is going to hide whatever I paint black on these parts of my face that are in the original blend. So I'm bringing back the original blend here all throughout this part of my face. and But I'm leaving the fingers. So now when I bring this back to 100% normal opacity, we see we've got this mixture here. Now the, there's some weirdness going on with the colors because of the, the blending mode multiply kind of darken stuff. And I can also just add an adjustment layer over top both of those layers. Maybe something like levels or curves. There's many ways you could go about it. But I'm going to brighten things back up again so the skin tone and the hue kind of matches again, even though we had that, the, that blending mode on there. So that's what, what happens when you mix these layers and multiply them together as they get darker. So this is just bringing back some of that color so it matches. And I'm going to go back to that layer mask that we were working on. And if I went too far out painting black, I can always 
bring some back in around areas that I want. So maybe bring some back in there around the fingertips. So whatever you want there. Now I actually want to get rid of this bottom portion here. I'm going to keep that from the original layer. So I'll paint, make sure you have the layer mask highlighted so it doesn't paint black on the canvas. I will paint this out of the image again. So things might get a little confusing when you're stacking all these layers. And so I'm going to go back to my original layer and I'm going to probably have to add some masks on there as well. So reveal all and mask out this portion on that first layer as well. So just so we get one proper neckline. If you ever want to just see what's going on isolated on one layer, you can hold Option and Command, click on this eyeball, and you can see one layer and what's going on. So you can get back to trying to blend things. So here and here I have some is my culprit. I, I want to get rid of the hands where they go below the, che the cheek and the jawline. So I'm just going to paint in black on that layer mask, try to be a little bit more precise and get rid of that section. I'm going to do that for here too. So you can use your eye and, and your specific picture to see where to blend certain corners. And then one thing I'm going to do is now bring back my original layer without the hands covering it. I'm going to do a layer, layer mask, hide all, because I want to bring back some of those details from in between the fingers and maybe make the eye attach. So you can see this time the layer mask is all black and when I paint white it'll bring back that original layer. So let's say I want to just kind of bring the eyes back, make them pop out a little bit more, maybe just by the pupils or tear ducts just for effect. Maybe I want to bring back a little bit of the original right before that little line that comes from the palm of the hands and bring back that color. I'm just making sure to use a soft brush so that we get smooth, gradual transitions of texture and saturation. As some final touches, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new fill layer, solid white. I guess you can use whatever color you want, but I'll use solid white. Just add that background in there that I didn't have this whole time. And I'll add a new adjustment layer over top of the whole thing, make it black and white. And although this could just be a stylistic choice, it also helps blend in all those different hues and colors, make them a little bit less noticeable, and you can adjust the contrast of different things here. And you could also add another brightness and contrast, or maybe increase the contrast a little bit. So that's the basic idea. Again, the more perfect you line up your original photographs, the easier time you're going to have blending. So that's one method you can use to recreate this kind of face and hands photo manipulation. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my future videos. If you want to check out another Photoshop tutorial, then you can check out more in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.